Internal divisions within the federal government have spilled into the open again over the issue of same-sex marriage. In a secret recording which went public, Cabinet Minister Christopher Pine boasted about plans to legalise gay marriage. He also volunteered he'd never voted for Tony Abbott as leader, prompting the former Prime Minister to accuse him of repeated disloyalty. Political editor Chris Yorman reports. The fixer has come undone. Over cocktails at Sydney's Star City Cherry Bar, Christopher Pine's musings to moderate Liberals were taped and leaked. The morning's headlines had him boasting on same-sex marriage that I think it might be sooner than everyone thinks. It opened the door on an intractable problem. Well, what a day to have you oh, in. Oh, mate, it's always a good day to be with you. Because the Coalition's pledge is to hold a plebiscite on gay marriage. And uh, to uh, dump the plebiscite, to do anything without a plebiscite, would be a breach of faith. So one minister's loose lips left the Prime Minister tending to another self-inflicted wound. Our policy is very clear. It has not changed. It is, we have no plans to change it. Other hands were called to the pumps. To the extent that it's on the agenda, it's our policy, which is the plebiscite, and there's no move away from the plebiscite policy. As yet another day dawned bright for Labor. I don't doubt Malcolm Turnbull supports marriage equality, and I certainly do as well. We should just have a vote in Parliament. The minister didn't deny the words were his, but tweeted there had been no change in policy. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only thing that passed Christopher Pine's lips at the cherry bar. He's buggered things up now, Christopher Pine. Because he also reportedly admitted that he and Attorney General George Brandis had voted for Malcolm Turnbull in every ballot he's ever been in, which poses yet another problem. Christopher Pine was not just a member of my cabinet, he was actually in the leadership team. Mm. And uh, it's important that you show loyalty. But uh, if he's to be believed on Friday night, uh, that loyalty was never there, which is uh, incredibly disappointing. That'll create some drama. <laughs> not everyone is disappointed. Well, I can keep up with most things, but even I can't keep up with the internal bickering in the Liberal Party. There's despair in coalition ranks at the government's inability to go even a week without a minister providing a spectacular distraction from the main message and once again highlighting the divisions that threaten to destroy it. Chris Yulman, ABC News, Canberra.